In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to connect your iPhone to the Pioneer DMHW 2770X for wireless Apple CarPlay. This video applies to the Pioneer DMHW 2700 next and the Pioneer DMHW 2770 next. All right, so before we get started, let's check a couple of settings on the in-dash receiver. The first thing I want to do here is from the home screen, I'm going to touch the gears and let's scroll down here on uh, to get to phone connectivity settings and we'll touch that and I want to make sure that my driving position is correct for uh, the particular area of the world where you are. I'm making this video for the US and North America so I want the driving position to be the left. Uh, if you're in another area you can switch the driving position to the right hand side of the vehicle just by touching but I want it to be set up for the left. Okay we're set up for the left now I'm going to hit the X to escape. Okay, so we've got the driving position set up and I want my in-dash receiver on the home screen here. Now on my iPhone, I want to go to settings and there's a couple of settings I want to check here. First is make sure that Wi-Fi is on and you can see I'm connected to a network right now and that's fine. And also make sure that Bluetooth is on. So both of those things are good. Now let's scroll down to general and we'll touch that and we're going to go to CarPlay right here. Now here you can see CarPlay is searching for devices to connect. We'll choose DMHW2770 next, that's this receiver. And there's a Bluetooth pairing request, the number is 999231. That's the same number over here, so we'll say pair on the phone and yes on the in-dash receiver. And now it's asking do you want to allow to sync contacts? I'm going to say yes to allow that. And here, Harry's iPhone works with Apple CarPlay. Do you want to enable CarPlay? We'll say yes. And we'll, we'll wait a moment here while the two connect. And you can see the CarPlay uh, button became available. And please note that I kept the CarPlay screen open the entire time on my phone. And now that I have a CarPlay connection, I can bail out of here. And that is a one-time setup. That's all I have to do. And you can see there's no wire connection over there. This is completely a wireless setup. All right, now um, I have switched my vehicle off and I left and I came back. Now when I come back to the vehicle, I'm going to start it. But you can see my iPhone is, um, the, the screen is, is locked and there's nothing on the in-dash receiver. So now I'm going to start the vehicle. When we start the vehicle, you can see the in-dash receiver powers up. And it'll take a moment to go through its warning. You can touch OK here, but you don't have to. You can just skip it and you can see that the two found each other and automatically started Apple CarPlay. And you can see that you didn't have to touch the phone in any way for those things to happen. All right, so I have reset the in-dash receiver and I've erased all references of this in-dash receiver from the phone. And so it's like the two have never seen each other before. And we're gonna show you another way to set up wireless Apple CarPlay. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is touch the gears up here and I wanna scroll down to the phone connectivity settings and make sure my driving position is in the right position for you. Uh, that left side is the right for me, is the correct side for me, I should say. And we'll go back. And the next thing I wanna do is very simple. I wanna plug the phone in to the USB port on the back of the in-dash receiver. This is the back of the DMHW2770 next. You can see the uh, USB port on the back of the in-dash receiver. And Pioneer includes a USB extension in the box. So during the installation, you can bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. So now I'm just going to take my uh, proper iPhone cable, my fully qualified iPhone cable, and plug it in from the back of the in-dash receiver right into the phone. And we'll unlock the phone. And here you can say, uh, do you want to allow CarPlay to work while the phone is locked? And we'll say allow. And you can use wireless CarPlay. Do you want to do that? And we'll say yes, enable wireless CarPlay. And now these two are connected through wireless, even though I still have a phone connection. So I'm going to unplug the phone. 
So now it's no longer plugged in to the in-dash receiver. Now let's go to the phone settings. And we'll select Harry's iPhone. And we'll give it a moment to complete the connection. And here you can see we have wireless Apple CarPlay. Now, this is a one-time thing that you have to plug the phone in. That's just how you get the two connected the first time only. Um, now we'll turn the vehicle off. Okay, so the vehicle is shut down. All right, you can see the in-dash receiver is switched off and the phone is locked just like it's in my pocket or in my handbag. And now I'm going to start the vehicle. So now you can see the in-dash receiver is powering up. It needs to go through its power-up cycle. And you'll see the warning come up here. You can touch OK, but if you just wait a few seconds, that'll go away. And you can see that the in-dash receiver and the phone have automatically found each other and automatically started Apple CarPlay. And I never touched the phone or the receiver to make any of those things happen.